Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I just want to show you a quick little project that makes a great gift for someone that you love. And with the holidays coming, this is perfect. Come along and let me show you how I put this together. I tried it both ways. I put the plastic in and then I also took it out of the plastic and it works great either way so just your choice you could make these so many different ways with different themes if somebody's into horses or cars or whatever they're into that's the fun part designing it the way you want it This is the perfect scrap buster. I have been sorting a bunch of fabric. I need to sort them into colors, but I haven't got that far yet. I start out by cutting two pieces at five by six inches. I will say that I'm very tempted to fast forward this, but I am learning to slow it down. I hope you are not bored. If you are, you can fast forward through this part. I always like to do this instead of re-measuring just foul my other line that I have with the first piece. Once I get it cut, I'm going to put a little piece of fusible interfacing on this. I had bought this t-shirt, fusible interfacing. It works great. You could also get SF 101. And you just cut out a little piece and put it on. It makes your material a little bit thicker and better to work with for a project like this. If you haven't used this before, it has glue dots on one side. And you're just going to glue it down. And it works so good. You can tell just by looking at it how much better that fabric is now. And then you just want to sew both pieces together with a quarter inch seam. And then I like to sew down on each side just to kind of hold that seam in place. I really like how the stitches look on that. And then I just like to trim it up to nine and a half inches by six inches. Here you want to draw a line at one and a half inches on both sides. And then you want to grab a bowl or something round. This happened to be in my sewing room, so I used it. And draw from the middle to the edge on both sides. It does not need to be perfect. It just needs to be kind of close.
Then you need a nine and a half by six inch piece for the back. And now you just want to put the pretty sides together and pin it down. Now you want to go over to your sewing machine and sew right on that line on both ends. And then cut your circle out, leaving a quarter of an inch. And then you can take scissors and cut little snips into it to help it turn. I did it both ways and I really couldn't see a difference. And then you just want to turn it to the right side and iron it down. I found that just running my finger along that line popped it out just so nice. This is where you decide how big of an opening you want. I wanted a little bit and so I got it where I wanted it, pinned it, and then sewed each end down. When you pin this down, you want that side to go on the top and then the other side is going to go down below on the bottom. You'll see what I mean with this picture coming up. That's on the top and then you want to pull that one up and stick that one on the bottom like this. I've been having so much fun making these. I hope you'll give it a try and thank you so much for watching.